Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, uh, July 27th, rather, uh, meeting of the Zoning Subcommittee, the Revere City Council. First of all, I had original, we had originally uh, bit planned on bringing out the four items before the Zoning Subcommittee uh, at once, uh, five items actually. Unfortunately, because of a, a scheduling snafu, we were unable to bring two of them forward. They will be heard on the uh, 24th of August at the next uh, at the next uh, zoning subcommittee meeting followed by city council meeting. In the meantime, we have two matters before us before us, uh, and uh, they are uh, uh, CZ-15-01, which is a uh, petition. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, by Eastern Equity Partners LLC, 72 Squire Road. Uh, relative to an amendment of the zoning ordinance of the city of Revere as follows. An ordinance further amending the zoning map of the city of Revere, section one, the zoning map of the city of Revere is high, hereby amended by changing the zoning of lot 120 at 428 American Legion uh, Highway from RB resi residence, bi resident business district to general business district. Uh, the uh, proponent is here, I believe, uh, if the proponent would like to speak about this. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the council, Jeff Drago, uh, 62B, Commercial Wharf East in Boston. I'm the attorney for Eastern Equity Partners, LLC, and Mr. Jamie Russo that's here with me tonight, who's the owner uh, and proprietor um, of the uh, parcels in question. We're here tonight seeking, as it was mentioned, uh, Councillor, an amendment to the current zoning map, the city of Revere, um, at lot 121. Um, I have given each of you just a plot plan, uh, mortgage inspection plan survey that lists all of the lots owned by uh, Eastern Equity Partners, LLC, that goes from lot 127 uh, all the way down to lot 120. Um, the lot in question, lot 120, is zoned uh, as an RB uh, type. All of the other lots around it are zoned as GB for general business. Uh, we're asking for uniformity uh, for the owner uh, to uh, make that zoning map change to allow it all to fall under a general business district. He uses those lots right now for retail use. There is no plan currently to do anything with it except to keep it uniform. If you look at the current zoning map, um, it'll show that all of that are... Uh, the lots owned by uh, Ace and Equity, RGB, and the lots right directly after um, this one in question. There's another lot that's also RB, but his building that's currently on the property at 428-454 uh, American Legion Highway is literally split down the middle. Half of that property, uh, or a little more than half, is, is zoned as the uh, GB district, and the other piece is zoned as RB, um, which could potentially limit him in a sale um, or rental as he moves forward. Um, so we would ask uh, that the council consider that um, tonight. Thank you. Uh, let me first introduce, uh, secondly, I guess, introduce the subcommittee. Uh, this evening we have uh, Council Ganasso, Council Novoselsky, and Council Zambudo from the... Uh, uh, subcommittee Councilor Hass is here, Councilor Rigo and Councilor McKenna are also here. Um, does anybody else have any comments on this matter? Step forward please and give your name. Yes, hi, my name is Armand Caruso. I live adjacent to all these properties. I live on 64 Beach Road, but my backyard is adjacent to these properties. I've been there for 25 years, my mother's been next door all oh, like 50 odd years. What I am opposed of is getting this zoned for a highway business because that way there, anything could be built there. Uh, this is a petition to uh, change it from uh, RB to GB not to highway business. Oh, it's not to be highway business, but it's, even This is not business. a zoning for highway business. There is a separate public hearing on that at 6 o'clock on a petition to change all that zoning to highway business. Okay. Just for your information. Okay, well, 
I don't know. I'm just skeptical of general business because that way there they can probably build anything they want there anyway. I'm not sure. I don't Thank you. Your point is well okay. taken. Thank you. Uh, any other public person from the public would like to speak on this matter? If not, I'll ask the uh, subcommittee first. Council Granasso, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first of all, let me apologize to all the area residents. Uh, I was unaware of this particular proposal of the subcommittee, and, and it's through no, no fault of anything but uh, unfortunate timing. Uh, the city clerk was on uh, bereavement uh, leave last week, and she was out of state. We didn't get notification, and the chair didn't uh, uh, hear notification also. We didn't have it. So uh, I would have uh, obviously uh, reached out to the neighborhood uh, to at least get the impulse to come to this evening's meeting, uh, and because several have made and uh, stressed a, a concern to be here when this, in fact, uh, comes forward. Mr. Caruso met me downstairs, and I said, no, this pro proposal is not coming even before us on your side of the street tonight. I didn't have, I don't, I still to this moment don't have an agenda in front of me. So uh, that I, I offer my serious, uh, I really can't uh, apologize enough. And the basic, uh, Mr. Chairman, getting to the uh, business at hand, changing it from RB to general business, this is to afford the applicant the opportunity to build future properties without the wishes of the city council's blessing. In fact, there is conversation going on and I hear it very strongly that there's uh, probably apartment building or maybe a hotel. Uh, I haven't uh, get, I haven't been privy to exactly what. And he, the attorney ably stated he didn't they didn't have any particular plans. So all this is like guessing at this point. My my point of contention is that why don't we leave it like it is until the applicant has a direction as to where he's going, so that the area residents are not left wondering, well, what is going to take place? This takes the mystery out of it, so when uh, the applicant has an opportunity to draft up what he really has in mind, and what, what is for the future of that location, when he has an agreement with some source, which, whether it be a hotel or apartment building, give us the opportunity at that point to address that. Given this, we change it to general business, we're somewhat removing that prop. We're given enough. Bearing mind, if you look at this, it is small, but that's needed and required to do any further development of any of substance. There's already a few businesses there as it is, and um, and the height of those businesses don't impact the quality of life of the neighbors. What I would suggest is that a hotel or a residential building is going to impact. They'll never see the sun again when, until it meets mid-afternoon. Mid and the sun rises from the east, and we all know that that building will be in front of their homes, and they won't see it until, like I say, noontime. So I think, we, we, I think our best course of business would be as a, as a city council and the protectors of the taxpayers and, and is to... Be mindful of, uh, and I, like I say, don't you see one individual out there tonight? This place would have been packed had everybody else been known or I knew about it, and I would have at least had the opportunity to call a couple and say, are you interested? If you're not interested, I'm not forcing anyone to be here. I'm not asking anyone to oppose this. I'm just asking for their input as to what, what their thinking is. Do they think in the same terms as I do? Do they want to release their authority over these particular parcels until they know what's going there. These are the questions I would ask of them. So, Mr. Chairman, I ask that um, my colleagues consider the wishes of the neighborhood previously who stated to me that they're concerned what goes there and they'd like, they'd like to have a, a hand in, in deciding what goes there, what, what type of business or activity is placed before them. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council Granasso. I, I would remind everyone that we did have a public hearing on this. And in my view, the pur major purpose of this uh, meeting is to uh, hash these issues out uh, with, uh, with the subcommittee, for one thing, and get any other additional information from uh, 
from the applicant. I would, uh, I would point out also, Councilor Ganasso, that once again the applicant has stated that he has no plan for the property, as, as, you, as you suggested, and that, that of course is an issue. Uh, Councilor uh, Zambudo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, I, I spoke on this earlier during the, I think it was after the public hearing, and uh, there's one little sliver of that building in a different zoning, and I I just think it's ridiculous not to just allow it. However, my colleague from uh, Ward 3 seems concerned about a, uh, a meeting with the neighborhood, and I'm for that. So I would ask that this stays in committee until he has that meeting, and uh, we can go forward from there. Thank you. Unfortunately, I believe that our time is expiring on this. Uh Ninety days from the date of the yeah, public hearing. That gives us till the end of August. Um, May 18, 2015 was the date. I, I would gladly do that if it's not going to. I just uh, don't think it's fair to the applicant to let it die in, in, uh, in the subcommittee. That's the major reason it's before us now. But if it's not the 90 days, if we have another meeting, I'd be glad to hold it. Well, I mean, it, I, that would uh, solve uh, uh, the ward councilor's concerns. And uh, Unfortunately, August 16th appears to be the date that it's going to be, uh, the 90 days is going to expire. So we have to have a meeting before that. Can they still do it? Only for, on, only for, uh, for special permits. Only for special permits. permits. Yeah, unfortunately, our next scheduled meeting is not until August 24th. So at this point, uh, it seems to me that it's, uh, you know, put up or shut up. <laughs> well, I, also, there's not. Uh, I, I don't know if you know that the council patch is injured and uh, yes. won't be able to attend the meeting. And another thing that is perturbing, yes. Yeah. So, so that you know. That uh, makes it kind of unfair when you need eight votes for a proposal and somebody's not here, there's not a full council. I couldn't agree with you more. Life is often unfair, so, uh, unfortunately. In I this think case, the best, our rules... Well, I think the best situation would be to have another meeting I, uh, before that drop-dead date. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the president of the city council well, who just walked in. This I'm is sure that we could convince the uh, president well, to... Well, right now, information, Mr. President, hold on uh, Mr. Meeting. Chairman. Hold on one second. Allow Mr. Uh, Councilor Gonasso one more shot at this. Uh, go ahead, Councilor. I understand where the council is coming from, but you know something? It, the area residents weren't given an opportunity to be here this evening to, to review this also. But, so we let the chips fall as they may. We conducted this meeting anyway. So now that the meeting is here, I say we go from here on with the project. Whether you voted up or you voted down. First of all, the first vote comes from the subcommittee. And it, there's no given that all the city councils will be present the day that we vote on that. So given the facts that, as they are, I think we should just go forward this evening as, as submitted. Allow me to have a brief moment with the council president. Well, I think we're going to go forward tonight. The council president advised me that it's not feasible to do it uh, on the uh, 17th of August. That would be the only other date. I'm going to uh, solicit any other comments from the rest of the city, the uh, subcommittee and the uh, in, uh, other city councils at this point, if they have any. Councilor Hess. Mr. Chairman, uh, why can't we ask the petitioner, I understand the law says the 18th or whatever it is, if we can get an extension on it. It's not possible. Please, uh, offer your opinion, this is, please. This is a zoning ordinance change. Uh, in order to extend it, there would need to be another public hearing advertised. They would need to re-advertise it after the 90-day period. 
Well, at this point, um, we seem to be up against uh, the. Uh, I think that's the fairest thing to re-advertise it and give give us all an opportunity well, I, to re. Allow me to comment on that. There's it, nothing planned there, for the site. You there is another. I mean? There is another. Uh, there is another uh, potential twist to this, and that is that there is a uh, competitive, for lack of a better term, uh, public hearing this evening on an ordinance change. And uh, it might not be a bad idea to consider these both at the same time rather than uh, at two separate times. And uh, I, I don't know it, whether I will defer to your, um, to what you would rather do. It would require further advertising, which of course would be more costly. But at the same time, um, it, it, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. A vote tonight, or, or would you like to re advertise it? Apparently, there's nothing to prevent you from re advertising and bringing it forward again, and I'd be glad to consider both issues at the same time. Okay. Counselor, if I have a, can I have a you moment. You certainly may. If you want to step this back, I'll move on to the next item and bring you back, okay? No, no I, I think just. Okay. Council. So, sorry, Councilor. Um, if, if there is no vote tonight, what's the alternative again? To the alternative would be to re-advertise it and have another public hearing on it and send it back in the committee from that. But there is nothing mm -hmm. to restrict you, apparently, uh, time-wise, from filing the same, um, uh, the same motion uh, again. Sure. I, my only concern was we've been waiting f to come for this committee for, I'm with for you. a long uh, time. I, you know, it's just um, a... It's a, it's a it's a bad situation. And it's the summer months. We yeah. only meet so well. We meet less frequently in the summer. Sure. We've had a, a perfect storm of things kind of working against you on this. Yeah. I, I think the other issue is just on, on the counselor's concern about what the use is. There is no plan um, for, for this building, but uh, for the lots, but there's a building and a parcel, two parcels of land with a building on it that are split down the middle. I think anyone, any reasonable person would want that to be uniform like there are other lots, but even if, let's just say, we took that piece of the lot out, if your concern would be that residential housing or an apartment complex, I think you said was built there, that could be built without that small parcel of land anyway. That's not our intention. If he wanted to do that, he could have, you know, submitted a plan a little while ago to do that without that small 2,500, 3,000 square foot parcel along with it. Since you're addressing questions to me, my concern is very simple, and, and you stated it earlier. You have no intentions for the property, so what's this? What's what's the big deal? So we well, just re-advertise. We go forward. We'll be in uh, session normally. We'll be able to do the course. Our rules of order have been for the last 50 years. We meet twice a month to conduct the people's business. We meet in July once. We meet in August once. Why do we do that? We do that because most people are out on vacations, and it's unfair mm -hmm. to have them us have public hearings when they're on vacation, not knowing what's going next door to them, not giving them an opportunity to at least share their concerns with us. That's all the reason why we're usually around anyway. People can call us all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's because of the people's business being conducted when people are away. That's not right. Well, I understand, Council, but there was a public notice. I mean, we, we, we were, we've gone through everything that we were asked to do for our notification. But I was, I was unaware that this subcommittee meeting was being conducted tonight. It doesn't appear on my agenda. I, I didn't receive anything with my packet. I had no opportunity to address the needs. I told the people I represent that when there is a, a, a zoning subcommittee met, I will notify them. I didn't because I didn't know about it myself. I knew there was a zoning subcommittee yesterday, and I came without an agenda. I didn't know what was on the agenda. 
And so, Counselor, in fairness you know, to everybody, at, and Counselor, you know, at this point, I think uh, I, I just assume uh, uh, after I've made my comments on this, and I have to do it brief, briefly yeah. because we're running out of time here. I, but my uh, suggestion is that we take this out to a vote this evening and get this over with. At this point, it doesn't seem we're get, like we're getting anywhere. But I'd like to offer my comments first and foremost. First of all, we have zoning in this city for a reason. And the reason is that we need a certain amount of control of what happens in the city. Uh, I have to assume that the people who put this zoning in place knew what they were doing to begin with. Uh, and uh, that's why it's there. Uh, I, I am not, I'm very reluctant uh, with no plan in place to develop this property to change the zoning. The zoning can be changed any, any time. It doesn't have to be changed uh, in, uh, in anticipation of nothing. We can change it in anticipation of something, and I think that's what we're better off doing. I think that this, uh, I think that, that the control that we lose by giving up our zoning uh, ordinances uh, for no reason, for no good, no, could I have water please? For, for absolutely no reason makes is, is, is no, of no benefit to us whatsoever. So uh, I'm going to ask for a recommendation on the subcommittee out of this. Motion well, to deny. Councilor, right. you, you did give me an option earlier to take, and we would ask them to be no At this point, I, I don't see where it's going to go anywhere. You can always do that. Nothing's going to stop you from doing that anyway. But at this point, I think we... I'm sorry? So, All right, so it, I guess your tr it's going to be your choice to withdraw at this point and, uh, and, and up to the city council. We will withdraw. All right. Is that all right? We have to vote on that at the city council? All right, so we'll, put, bring, we'll bring your withdrawal to, to a vote at the city council. In any case, I'll report that out as uh, withdrawn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the second matter is, uh, and the final matter we have on is a petition uh, regarding 166 Winthrop Avenue for a... Uh, change in a prior non-conforming use uh, by an applicant, Peter Latanzi, to extend uh, a building uh, in an RB district uh, on Winter 166 Winthrop Avenue, uh, and uh, by Peter Latanzi, Jr., trustee of LNL uh, Realty Trust. Please state your name and your address. Peter Latanzi, Jr., 166 Winthrop Avenue, Revere. Thank you, Mr. Latanzi. I believe that you, uh, is there anything else you have to add other than uh, what was uh, suggested uh, at your last meeting? Uh, thank you, Mr. Meeting. Chairman. Um, I, I think I've covered everything. If there's any questions from the board, I'd be certainly happy to entertain them. And at that time, I think we did have on hand the, um, the site plan review, uh, three points of the site plan review. Uh, you're aware of them, correct? Yes, sir. And they are, uh, the final building plan must be reviewed and approved by the fire department. 11 parking spaces, and I think you testified that you had 13 of them already. Uh, and uh, landscape buffer zone, which is essentially what's already there in the, as it is. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you. Any uh, questions from the councils? Council McKenna? Uh, uh, there's a motion to report this out favorably. All in favor on the subcommittee? Aye. Right. Thank you, uh, Peter. Uh, we'll be voting on this later this evening. You can stick around if you like. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Thank you. That being the last item on the agenda, I apologize to Council President for this going over a little longer than we expected, but uh, that is the uh, conclusion of the uh, zoning subcommittee for uh, July 27th.